Welcome back to the channel guys and welcome to Had Yai. Nestled in the Songkla province in southern Thailand, this wonderfully diverse city is the biggest in southern Thailand with its close proximity to the border of Malaysia as you'd expect. Today we're going to be grabbing some unbelievable Malaysian food but no trip to the home of Thai southern fried chicken would be complete without visiting the most famous fried chicken restaurant in the city. Let's go. Welcome. 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 But you know guys, I can't start my day without a nice cup of coffee. So we're going to go and check out this little specialty coffee stand that I found. Looks pretty special. So it's just a little, a little container box. So it's like, it's walking up saying, is this open? And then to my surprise, they're actually, this is Pipong, and uh, they're actually using the Aram Espresso Press, so the Brazilian manual press that you guys would have seen me use on my live stream the other day in Bangkok, if you watch it. No, my house blend. Oh yeah? Yep. Oh wow, yep. it's his house blend. Wow, okay. All right, look at that, going from 40 baht. And obviously you're going to probably be paying the extra for the specialty coffees. Pong's just told me, now I get it. It's the, the blend's called Regency. Legency, the, the, there's a Thai whiskey called Legency. And that's, it's a whiskey barrel aged coffee. So that's why it's called Legency. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's like a, it's like a warm, it's like a warm whiskey milkshake. All right. All right, people, Hello. come on, come. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, what a first stop that was. That is one of the best coffee finds ever. I knew it was going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be that good. That is a seriously good, seriously good cup of coffee, guys. On to our next stop though, so we're going to be checking out the Malay influence in Had Yai with its close proximity to the border as I said in the intro. So you come from the coffee shop if you're starting there and you walk down the canal. I always find myself at a canal, don't I? So you walk up the canal and the canal is going to take you basically into the main town. Once you're there, just follow the map. So when I say Had Yai is Thailand's biggest city in the south, it's still, it's still not busy, it's still quite sleepy. It's got like a, like a town feel to it. It's got like, it's almost like stepping back in time. I mean, you've got all these old school tea shops, loads and loads of roti shops, everyone just sitting outside eating. All the buildings are really old school. I love it. Um, but yeah, don't come here expecting uh, Bangkok nightlife. All right, guys, so I'll tell you where we are. We're banging the center of town pretty much. There's the Red Planet Hotel, which is a famous hotel here. Spin around, like directly opposite, Kip Hokkien. All right, here we are, guys. A simple. Here we go. I like to get into <laughs> Cod. Ah. Oh, look, we got the chili bronze as well. Oh, uh, chak wait yao. Chak wait yao. Oh, mi hoki and hang. Mi hoki and nam. Do it. Mi nam. Cod. Poma? Right, so we've got yellow noodles. Right, and we've got a boiled egg, hard boiled egg, some of those little fresh prawns, some uh, stewed pork, some fish cake, oh, and some pork rib as well. And then we've got that, look at the, the, the red, look at the color of that. 
that. Oh, look at that. Deep red. Some Hom Jiao on the top. Jiao. Colour of that suit. All right, so we've blanched the noodles first and the fish cake, and then that's gonna go into this ridiculously hot wok. Oh, we've got one more. Any, any, any? Any, 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 Can you see your dam? Malena. Oh, Sainam. Oh. Bok choy. Tap. Okay. More. So we've got a little bit of stewed pork, a little bit of stewed tap, which is liver. Kung. Kung tale. Songka. So we've got the little prawns from Songkla, which we ate yesterday, deep fried. Wow. They're boiled, fried off, then basically boiled again in the soup. So they're actually be done to death and I love it. So the prawns just go in right at the end because they're going to take a matter of seconds to cook. Onions on top. Oh. Come on, cup. Come on, cup. Oh, yes. All right, guys, so look at this thick gravy. All the starch has come off of the noodles. Kind of thickened it up. We've got those little prawns, pork fish cake, liver, and these beautiful uh, sen, sen luang, yellow noodles that are so famous in the south. With that, oh, with that we've got this sambal, I guess you'd call it in Malaysia. It's uh, just pounded chilies and shrimp paste, gapi. So we're gonna put that on because you know I love it spicy, guys. Have a little mix up. Comforting is the word I'd use. Very, very comforting. Squidgy, as I said, cooked to death noodles. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's like, there's something really, really comforting about having the char and the squidginess. Squidginess, good adjective, right? For a food blogger, vlogger, whatever you want to call me. And that thick, starchy sort of pasty stock. Mm. Again, prawns are delicious, pork's delicious. Mm. You're getting these little gubbins of pork, crispy pork, where it's fried in manmo in lard. The veg is a nice touch. You've got the onions, pepper in it. Very, very soft liver. That's even better than that for me. All right, next up, we've got the mi hokkien nam, which is the wet or the soup version 
a lot of the time just known as prawn me in Malaysia and Singapore or hair me I think correct me please if I'm wrong so we've got some stewed pork this time which looks absolutely full apart melt in your mouth we've got that egg as I said the little prawns and some sliced pork some fish cake and that beautiful beautiful rich red stock oh heaven right the stock is absolutely perfect straight off the bat it's spicy it's savory they've fried down prawn heads to get that rich red color strewed that down with pork bones it's a pork and prawn stock it's got a heavy heavy prawn flavor so much so there might even be some shrimp paste in there i'm not sure oh that is incredible mm. not quite spicy enough though so we are going to add a nice dollop of the of the sambal the prawns are delicious plump and juicy they're only small but they really really pack a punch really really pack a flavor they're saltier more savory than the prawns we usually get in Bangkok because I'm used to eating freshwater prawns these are as I said Gung Palais locally caught Songkla prawns now I've got to get some of that stewed pork as well fatty gelatinous goodness But I'm telling you guys, it's all about this stock. I said in my video, I think, I think it was about four years ago, I don't really remember to be honest, I've never watched it, it was terrible. Um, I said this is Michelin grade stock. And I stand by that. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you, chocolate Yeah. Okay. They've been nice enough to bring me another one. Also, they brought over some chocolate Tiao, so the famous Penang noodles with egg, prawns, fish cake, Chinese chives, bean sprouts, light soy sauce, dark soy sauce, both from Malaysia, I'm told, and then stir fried with some of that sambal chili paste as well. So you've got like a crazy, crazy char on the noodles. They're all kind of stuck together, little black bits all over them, where they've been cooking over that high, high heat. We've also got some cockles, some blood cockles. These look proper, proper legit. Even for me, this is a lot of food, because I've now got to go and eat fried chicken, rice, and a somtum at another restaurant. Well, I don't have to, but I want to. I want to do it for you. All right, some of these charred noodles. Wow. The char on these, the wok hay is incredible so smoky they're like if you haven't had these before think pad you but not sweet so hmm got little pieces of smoky pork cured almost like a bacon like a sweet bacon gun tiang that's what it tastes like gun tiang chinese sausage I'll tell you what, these little blood cockles that you get every so often in the Chao Kuei Tiao it's going to be a beautiful little sort of taste of the ocean through the salty noodles pretty incredible stuff yeah for me it's the fried ones that I like the best although the prawn mi is delicious and the stock is incredible if I just had that as a standalone dish I'd absolutely love it but I just love these two because this is the way I would cook noodles at home. Like, if I cook pad you at home, this is how it comes out. The only thing I'd wish for maybe is a little bit of acidity, like some lime or some vinegar, but no. It's hot dish. That was... Bye-bye. 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 Happy birthday to Michael Joe. Michael Joe. Michael, Michael, Michael Joe from Malaysia. I'm named after King Hell of England. <laughs> where, sh where, 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 where has the best food in Malaysia? Uh, Malacca. Malacca. Oh. Malacca, yeah. 
Uh, now it's open, I'm going to go. Did he come from Blackstone? Yeah. Epic first stop. So friendly, you know? So, so friendly. Just met a bunch of guys from Malaysia. Uh, Michael John, did he just say his name was? Um, yeah, and it's his birthday, so happy birthday to you. They just told me that's very good food in there as well. That's why they're eating in there, obviously, and they're Malaysian. So, um, but guys, I think this rain is getting ridiculous. We might get rained off here. I really hope I can get you to Kaid Hod de Cha, but who knows? Hello, Cap. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, come. All right, guys. Oh, it's welcome absolutely you. packed. Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Thank welcome. You. Welcome, Bill. Welcome. Top and come. Yeah. All right, what a welcome that was, guys. Okay, we're at Gate Hot Det Cha, the number one rated, most popular fried chicken shop in Had Yai. Had Yai, as you know, is famous for Gate Hard, so we couldn't come to Had Yai, no matter how stuffed I am from that last meal, and not have some fried chicken. Is that big hub? All right guys, anyone who watched my live yesterday will know that I came in here and did a live yesterday. So I did actually eat this yesterday. Oh, oh, pikai, na? Pikai? Chin diao, oh. Chin kab, oh, kao, kao, kao mok. Som tam thai, na? Mandem, mandem. All right, so we've got tam thai, so we've got, we got classic som tam, loads and loads of chilies. We're going to get, I think we're getting dried and, well, yesterday I got dried and fresh chili. So I think hang do it, right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, Chai Yen signature. Okay, how? This place is absolutely packed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's run through it guys, quick. Alright, so I've got some tam thai, the perfect accompaniment to fried chicken. So we've got some tomato, some pounded up dried shrimp, carrot, papaya. Look how much chili's going through this. We've got fresh chili, we've got dried chili, we've got long beans, they've left the lime in, which I like. We've got kao mok, so the yellow rice that we'd usually get with kao mok gai, or in this case kao mok gai in hard. And then the famous Gaid Hod. Gaid Hod had yay. Look at the crispy, look at the caramelization on it. Crispy skin, juicy meat. I've gone with Pit Gay to Wings Non Gay, which is drumstick. Had breast yesterday, which, which was really nice. That comes with Nam Chim Gay which is sweet chili sauce, which looks, look at that, it's viscous, stewed down. Looks very, very sweet, but deceptively sour, this one. Some crispy fried onions and ajat salad, which is just cucumber, chili, red onion, vinegar, and sugar. All right, so we're gonna start compiling our plate. I'm just gonna put the chicken onto the rice. And then chuck on the crispy fried shallots. And while I've got you here, close up, I'll just have a dip in the sauce. Ah.
the sauce, as I said, because like I said, I came in here yesterday on my live stream and had the same thing. If you caught my live stream, you'd have already seen it. Uh, but I had breast yesterday, so I wanted to come back and try the leg. And as I said, the sauce is it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Like it looks like it's going to be really, really sickly sweet, but it's actually very, very sharp. Lots and lots of vinegar in there, chili, heavy on the garlic. But the star of the show, for sure, is that crispy, perfectly seasoned chicken skin in here. White pepper, black pepper, soy sauce, salt, garlic, coriander root, and it's just fried off to absolute perfection. The breast was actually delicious yesterday. I thought it was gonna be dry, but it was actually, where they marinate it for so long, it's like brine, so it kind of changes the consistency. But yeah, for sure, the leg, the leg meat, the leg meat is where it's at. All right. Chicken wing. Excuse me to all my Thai subscribers that eat your wings with a with a fork and spoon, but I just can't do it. I think the wing might be the best part of the uh, of the bird. Now, as I said yesterday, I can taste cinnamon, but I'm pretty sure that's just coming off the rice. It might be in the batter. Now, there's a bit of sugar. There's a bit of sugar on the chicken as well, giving it that caramelization. No, the cinnamon is definitely coming from the yellow rice. Mm. It's perfectly cooked. Each grain of rice separated. Heavily, heavily spiced. It's almost sweet, but it's not sweet from any sort of addition of sugar. It just, get, cinnamon gives it that sweetness. Mm. So, so good. But, for me, better try the Ajat actually. Again, the Ajat is not sweet either. It's more sharp. Which is surprising actually, because the further south you get, it usually gets really, really sweet. Now I'm rating this. All right, let's get some of that spicy som tam as I said yesterday this is like my perfect som tam it's very very sharp extremely spicy very very fresh and zingy against that fatty crispy fried chicken it's not again it's not overly sweet there's sugar in there there's palm sugar in there so it is sweet but it's not like sickly sweet it's well balanced. She must have heard me yesterday because it's even less sweet than it was yesterday. But the textures, the crunch from the beans, that fresh papaya, We've got the crunchy peanuts. Mm. Winner. Right, no trip to Kaid Hot De Cha would be complete without, or a trip to Hadi would be complete without this signature frothy Cha Yen Thai, Thai tea. Chongkel. Whoo! All right, I definitely, definitely, definitely should have said uh, one night uh, with that one. That is sweet. That is like, um, oh, God, that is how I was expecting the rest of it to taste. That is very, very sweet. That's my fault. A user error, guys. Next time, one yi sim ha percent or my one, my one no. Woo! I like, I think I do need some cucumber just to freshen this up a bit. This guy's, this guy's has been a struggle even for me. I've done an hour and a half to eat all this food and it's absolutely written me off. But yeah, for sure, if you're coming to Had Yai, Kai Tod De Cha must be on your list, in my opinion. Now, you read the reviews. Anywhere that's like heavily hyped up, 
or like known as the best is going to get some negative comments just because that's just the way people are. If this was like an unknown place, it wouldn't have any bad reviews at all. But because it's held in such high regard, people find things to give bad reviews about. They give like one star because they don't like the way the waitress looked at them or something like that. Everyone in here, super, super friendly. As you can see, packed with locals, which is always a good sign. So yeah, for me, an absolute must. Cup one cup, bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. Uh, that was a bit much even for me guys um i've had to take some of it away because i couldn't finish it I, I, I like after the first stop i was struggling at the second stop i don't know if you noticed or not but um absolutely delicious nonetheless and i didn't want to waste it so i've taken it away i'm just gonna just gonna eat it on the airplane i think so i'm on the way back to bangkok now so i'm a bit gutted that i haven't had a chance to show you around had yai because a lot of you asked me to show you around had yai my plan was to do that in last night's live then obviously it rained so i couldn't take you anywhere so i thought i'd just end this video by telling you a few things that you can do a few tourist things you can do in Songkha and had yai mainly had yai because it's where you're going to be flying into but um I don't really, as you know, do quote unquote tourist stuff. Like I don't do things. I just eat, look for coffee shops and uh, look for bars usually. But I know a lot of you do. So I thought I'd give you my top things to do while you're here. Now, number one, so if you're going from Songkha to Hadiai or vice versa, about halfway um, is the Songkha Grand Central Mosque, which is absolutely incredible. Photography wise, any of you photographers out there, um, aesthetically, it's amazing. I'm not a religious person myself, um, but I do love temples. I love, I love Buddhist Wats, I like Christian churches, I love mosques, I like any sort of temple. Just the architecture is absolutely incredible. And this one is amazing. It's got this big, long, I don't know what you'd call it, not a moat, body of water we'll go with. Um, and the actual building itself is incredible. So you could just get a taxi, you could get a grab from Hadiai or from Songkla there. So that's a good thing to do. In Songkla, you've got a giant leaning Buddha on the way to Got Yo. And the reason I'm telling you this, you're saying, well, I'm in Hadiai and Songkla is the next town along, but it's so close. It's only like 35 minutes between the two. So you could do either of these from Hadiai or from Songkla. In Hadjai town itself, I would say definitely, 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 if the weather's okay, go to the park with the viewpoint. There's a viewpoint here, big standing golden Buddha. They've got a cable car and they've got the most amazing view over Hadjai city. Loads of students go there. It's a cheap day. You can go there, have like an iced coffee or whatever, sit on the steps and just look out over the city. It's pretty, pretty special. They've got some shopping in the main town. Uh, it's all centered around the ODN, which is like an old school shopping mall, mainly for Malaysian tourists. And um, yeah, they've got a little market down there. So yeah, there is stuff to do here. Like I say, for me, it's more about eating and stuff. But I know a few of you wanted me to show you around. So hopefully I've given you a few things to do. I've definitely given you a few things to eat. All of that food all together came to, with the coffee, something like, I think it was 300 and... 70 baht i'll write that at the actual amount in the description box below so i haven't even spent 10 pounds i spent about 10 us dollars and had an absolute fee so the value is here guys which is what we're all about on this channel let me know where you want me to go next make sure you catch my song cloud video if you haven't watched it before this one and guys i guess i'll see you back in bangkok Mwah!